well being completed they will then face a sprint at the finish of every seventh lap and they receive points five points three two and one first four riders the very last sprint of the race they receive double those points and the highest number of points will decide the winner of the event and you can see the three australians here brett aikin uh, followed by uh, Stuart o'grady and dean woods and there are 30 riders in all now, the only time that points will not be necessary to decide the gold medal is if a rider laps the field. But if a number of riders lap the field, then the points will again come into play to decide which one takes the gold medal, silver, and indeed the bronze. So they're off for 120 laps. They now complete eight laps. So after seven laps, you'll hear a bell. At the end of the eighth lap, will be the first sprint. And there are a total 16 sprints. And it's quite a big bunch of riders out there on the track as they start with an immediate attack coming from Scotland here. And this rider has gone out on the attack is Roddy Riddle. Now that's going to warm things up rather quickly as Riddle goes out on his own and has a look over his shoulder to see if we're all coming after him. Brian Walton there beginning to move close up toward the front as it's Wales. And I think it's uh, Roger Hughes who's now having a go to try and bring him back. <laughs> is the tall rider from Wales, Stephen Colliby, who's just gone through to join Roddy Riddle in the Scotland. He comes from Inverness, in fact. Uh, two riders out in front. Now, they're trying to gain the lap very early on here because the lap will put them distinctly at an advantage. Points will not be necessary then except to decide the gold and the silver if those two riders lap the field. But the reaction has come very quickly, and in fact, Robert Dale of South Africa is the rider who is first to them. That's Robert in third place up on the banking now in the dark strip. Floodlights now come into play here. The evening is gone, but it is still extremely warm. Simon Lillystone from England, six times the British national champion, and now replaced at the front by Paul Jennings. Brian Walton up in the second place. And I'm joined again by Cathy Reardon, who won a team time trial gold medal in the women's 50km event. Not riding the track events, but enjoying every minute of them, Cathy. And uh, you really feel, don't you, that Stuart O'Grady is our man tonight? Yes, Phil, um, he's got great points for these games and um, this strong Australian lineup also with Brett Aiken and Dean Woods. Well, O'Grady has a great talent at reading the moves to go with in a bike race, as he's shown us so often. He's the gold medalist in the Scratch 10, which we held uh, two days ago. Nice close-up there of Alistair Irvine, who won two bronze medals for uh, Northern Ireland in the last two games, one in each of them, 86 in Edinburgh and 90 in Auckland. Not in this event, by the way. Just swinging off the front now, Paul Jennings from England. And getting down towards the first sprint of the evening. As things, another attack going through on the inside here and going very, very quickly away. This is Northern Ireland who's going out on the attack. And there's the bell, so next time there's a sprint, good time to go for Thomas Evans, a 21-year-old from Bambridge up there in Northern Ireland. And that's caused quite a reaction from the field, being led by New Zealand. It looks like Glenn McClay has started to wind it up in the chase down now. And they're going to pick up uh, Evans in the straight here, or is he going to hang on and get the first points? No, they're going to sweep over the top of him in what is going to be a very tight sprint indeed. But for my money, the winner of that sprint was Brett Aitken, and in second place, right on the line there, it looked to me as though we had the South African Jean-Pierre Fancel. In third place, Dean Woods also scoring well, and two points there for Dean for Australia. Glenn McClay, I think, I got the one point for New Zealand. That'll be confirmed when they develop the photo finish. The race goes on. Now the racing will come, the sprinting will come every seven laps of the velodrome, and that sprint has really livened up this race now. It's a long race, stay with us, we'll show it to you. Watch how the Aussies ride as a team. Two, but right now we're scoring five, three, two and one at the end of every seventh lap of the track. 16 sprints in all, and we are coming up to 61 to go. A little breakaway trying to get away. Tony Doyle trying to start off again an attack with Dean Woods. And again, the aggressive South African, Martin Meany, mixing it up there. Commentator's delight. He wears a red crash helmet. We can pick him out. 
and four riders trying to get clear now. Woods looking at the rest, and the Canadian rider who's got in there is Tim Hatfield. Latest point score overall for you, Brett Aiken now leads with 24 points for Australia. Stuart O'Grady is now equal second. And as I speak, they've just halted it, so I'll start again. Brett Aiken uh, still leads with 24 points. They just slotted in sprint number eight, in fact. And up into second place now is uh, Stuart O'Grady. Up in the second place, in fact, is Brian Walton with 10 points. Mikanda O'Grady is equal third, along with Dean Woods, the Australian teammate. So Australian three in the first four. Glenn Thompson fifth from New Zealand. Uh, Brendan Cameron from New Zealand is sixth. But there's still a lot of room for change there because the points are very close together. Although Brett Aiken, with 24 points, at the moment, Cathy is sailing towards the gold medal. And I've got my fingers crossed for him as well. He's riding a very smart race out here tonight, and he's also got the whole Australian team behind him. Both Stuart O'Grady and Dean Woods are riding for um, Brett Aiken tonight, and here we come up to another sprint. This will be sprint number nine. Aiken won the last one from O'Grady, Walton and McClay. Now let's see what happens this time out. Again, the Australians are trying to get on the inside, and a tight fit to the inside. A bit of shouldering going on there. They try to stay on course. They swing it round into the home straight now, but this is going to be another great score here. And, uh, and there we go again. O uh, Aitken taking it right on the line from Stuart O'Grady. But he came from afar there, and I don't think O'Grady realised that Aitken was coming quite as fast as he did. Either way, another perfect sprint result for the two Australians, first and second, for the second sprint in succession. Now, Glenn McClay tempting them by going out on the attack, but nothing doing. And in fact, O'Grady has already won two gold medals and a bronze here at these games. He's moving nicely through on the inside. There's the result of that sprint. Aiken they gave it to. O'Grady, Walton and McClay. So Brian Walton for Canada is flying the flag high tonight. There's a Again, the attack goes off at 54 laps to go. Situation overall, Brett Aiken, 29 points. Uh, Brian Walton, 12 points. Stuart O'Grady, 11 points. And Dean Woods is fourth. Glenn Thompson of New Zealand is fifth. They have eight and six. Marvellous so far. And Aiken will be the one man the Australian team wanted to get into the gold medal position. I think if you haven't won a gold medal in the Australian team, you get to get a little bit of a complex. And now they're going to see Aiken collect his later tonight. Look at this sprint again. And what a close sprint. Aiken was nearest the camera. Woods was the other man involved. And it was, uh, I think it was Northern Ireland down there who was also in that sprint. And I think it was John McClellan. So, we're just coming down to the last lap sprint now with our double points on the board. But Aiken has left nothing to chance here. They'll have to develop a photo to decide who won that. But uh, if Aiken's got the five points, he'll have 41 points and there's 10 at stake for the winner of the last lap. And the only man who could catch him will be his own teammate, uh, Stuart O'Grady. And in fact, I don't think, in fact, Stuart O'Grady can. We'll have to wait for the result of the photo to be sure of the computation there. But I think it's home and dry for Brett Aiken, and he's ridden this like a real champion. He's won uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of the sprints tonight, taking maximum points. There's Brian Walton's tally, and Walton now trying to... He needs a great finish and a high point score to break into the medals and knock the three Australians, at least one of them, probably Dean Woods, in the bronze position at the moment, out. So this is going to be a cracking last four laps now. As uh, the New Zealanders will try to get Glenn McClay in there because Glenn is fourth overall with 15 points, three off Dean Woods, and with uh, 10, 6, 4 and 2 on the last lap. It could be unbelievable, this final sprint. So much depends on it. Not for gold. That is now Brett Aitken of Australia. But for the rest, the last lap sprint is going to be pretty crucial indeed. Tom Evans now of Northern Ireland goes through. Swings up. And Glenn McClay 
is hovering. He's up there in second place. Behind his New Zealand teammate, who's going to help him as all, all he can here now. There's confirmation of that sprint. Dean Woods got it with five. John McClelland, it was in second. Brett Ake in third, and Stuart O'Grady. Well, the wrong flag went up for John McClelland, because, in fact, John McClelland is Northern Ireland. Now they're coming round at a, a real pace round this back straight now. Stuart O'Grady is 11 points behind Brett Aiken. There's only 10 on this last lap sprint, so Brett Aiken can take a lap out here. He's the gold medal winner. They can't catch him. Nobody can catch him. It's a question whether, in fact, Aiken, O'Grady and Woods will make an Aussie clean sweep, or will Glenn McClay spoil it? Glenn McClay of New Zealand coming through on the inside. Anthony Stewart trying to take him on. Glenn McClay needs these points. I want a sprint. This is going to be stay on the red. Don't go on the blue, Glenn. And screaming up there from Australia was Stuart O'Grady. And Stuart O'Grady got the points, and he'll keep the silver medal position. But that uh, sprint there by Glenn McClay may just bring him in to the bronze medal ahead of Dean Woods. But the computer will have to tell us, and maybe the photo finish as well. Because uh, the Scotsman went off the track for the sprint, and he won't count. And as Charlie Walsh congratulates Dean Woods, it's been confirmed, he's got the bronze medal, Brett Aiken wins with 38 points, Stuart O'Grady is second with 37 points, and Dean Woods is third with 23. And the fourth place went to Ben McClure of New Zealand, who lost the bronze medal by just two points. What an amazing race. What an amazing experience here in the Wanda Fuka Velodrome. On the first day the Australians came here, they took gold, silver and bronze in the kilometre. That had never been done before. They closed the series here with gold, silver and bronze. Of the 13 events in the road cycling and the track cycling, Australia has taken 10 gold medals. Well, how are they going to better that in Malaysia in four years' time? And thank you. Of Australia. Yeah. Must sound rather special tonight to Brett. The silver medal, Stuart O'Grady of Australia. This really is a remarkable achievement in a mass start race with all those riders on the track to take all three medals. And Stuart O'Grady has quite a collection the here this week. Medalist is Dean Wood of Australia. And with the games becoming open for the first time to pro bike riders, uh, Dean Woods is back on the medal winning rostrum. A bronze for him in the point score. That is a team.